Welcome to my dungeon! Hello, ladies, chins, and disciples of the frenzied thru thrust. Damn it, damn it, I messed it up. Disciples of the frenzied thrust. I've been playing with uh, a couple uh, spells. This looks pretty badass. I don't know how effective it is. And it builds madness, but who cares about that? I'm already half cuckoo, so... You know, it, it will just take me to a place where I've already been. There's nothing new that can possibly happen. I do like this giant bolt. Like it's, you know, long-range snipe. <laughs> I like it quite a bit. May uh, look for some way to boost those madness incantations. They're pretty badass. Been around with Vike Spear in between episodes, but it's uh, very weak right now. I have not upgraded it to a point where it is respectable to even fathom using it. But I did play around with other incantations that I have not touched, such as the Frozen Lightning Spear. Check this out. Ooh. I mean, it's badass as hell. Is it something I want to use in an offensive manner? I don't think there's anything that will be much more effective than a massive super dual scythe swing. You know, incantations that I've been using is mostly to make my scything more effective. Which, case in point, I found bestial vitality that I've never used. And it just gives you another regeneration. I found golden vow that gives you more attack and defense. It is pretty costly, but it's probably good. Dragon Bolt Blessing, which does something to your body. Maybe supercharges with extremely erotic energy. And then... Electrify Armament, which is just, instead of holy damage, you put electric damage on your weapon. It lasts just as long, it's probably just as effective as the Holy Order damage thingy. This is the last thing that we need to look at before going into freaking capital. And I came this way because this was an incredible land octopus ovary I would have otherwise missed. What a tragedy that would have been. I would have been just heartbroken to learn about this later on in some kind of guide or nonsense. Like, if you don't go to the side of Landell's capital. Oh, gee. <laughs> it's a freaking gigantic cliff over here. I almost just jump right in there. That would not have been good for my survival. Where are you? Look, more, lo more loot. The golden rune. What are you? What? You're just a weirdo. Die. Die a million deaths. Oh, 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 <laughs> in ambush. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to use the Flame of Frenzy. <laughs> that was not very, very impressive. That was not very impressive. But then again, my faith is not incredible. Okay, Frozen Lightning Spear. Go! I mean, it's somewhat decent and all that. Oh, I think I'm attacked. No, no. This uh, teaches me to not experiment. Why experiment when I could have simply used my wonderful tried and true tactics? Honestly, I'm not really big fan of that uh, spear. Thing is, you know, my build is not. What is going on? <laughs> Bottle is just rocking back and forth, extreme autistic vibes. Uh, she's just having a bad time. She's just been suffering terribly. So, not a big fan of the Flame of Frenzy. Not a big fan of the Frozen Lightning Spear, and I can't even use it right now because my my uh, arc has been gone. How about instead of all that, I put in on top of all this, we're going to have Blessings Boom. There we go. Uh, at the very least, we can do the Frenzy's Frenzied Burst. Let's put here the rocks, because probably I'm not gonna care. And this one, what was it? What did I just take out? The Bestial Vitality. I don't know if I'll ever bother with, but there you go. Fantastic. Give me that Rune Arc that has been so mercilessly stolen from me. Absolutely outrageous. We're going to go back there. Take some freaking revenge. We're going to super buff myself just to dole out the incredible humiliation 
to these pieces of garbage. Oh yeah, just give me all the power, all of it! There you go. Go to Frenzy Burst here, even though it doesn't really matter. Find my own dumbass runes. Such foolishness! Where were even these people? I did not see them on the road until I just kind of doubled back and suddenly they were there! Fucking broken. There is a cemetery kind of place. Ah, they just rose. They rose from the dead. Attack! Yeah, okay. That, that was a bit more effective. <laughs> Worked out pretty well. Oh, they are undead. Do not rise. Your scumbags, this is holy damage. Why are you not staying down? How dare you come back to life? My incredible wind scythe has the power of God and compels you to stay put. Well, I'm glad that I did that. And then I came over here and I grabbed myself some sweet silver pickled fowl foot. Look, you defy me, you get the scythe. I have no need to murder you, but you have the gall to frickin' defy me. So this goes up, but it also goes down if I wanted to go that way. Amazing. Wow. Alright. There's two approaches to Landell. We're going to take this one. I forget, honestly, if uh, <laughs> that door was open or not. I'm pretty sure it was. Ooh. What's going on over there? All that poison. Why does it exist? It's probably one of those trees, right? Yeah, those damn plants. Suspicious! Look at that! What? It's a freaking cave over here! Like the cloud made me so suspicious. Can I please just go into Landell <laughs> and have a good time in Landell? No! Constantly getting distracted. By the way, let's use these runes. I feel like it's time to just pump faith for as far as it will go. Get up to 70 if the game will let me. Don't know how many runes we're going to be using. By the time we get uh, to the point of faith that I want to have. But probably each level will cost 200,000. And I'm here for it. Man, these perfumers are uh, real deep. Heading into the bottom of the earth. Hey. Disgusting scumbags. Did you go to alert your buddies? How about I visit the power of my rocks upon your face? Wow. Okay. Well, you guys are not going to last long. He blocked. He blocked that. Stop using your freaking shield. You coward. Wow. Perfumer hood. I don't think I have one of those. I was a little too eager. I shouldn't have come down here. Because now I probably missed out on a bunch of stuff. Stop with the prayers. There are no prayers. Nothing can save you. That's pretty. That's a very pretty sh freaking flower. That wants to poison me dead. Alright, let's go back up there. Don't think I am not noticing. Miyazaki, that you recycled the crap out of the layout of a different cave. Pretty sure it's the exact same model as the cave that we found early on with wolves in it. Okay, let me go back. There was some loot and stuff that I want to partake. Uh, maybe faith, but also could use some mind because I have a absolutely laughable Health pool, I mean, uh, holy crap. Absolutely laughable mana pool. Pathetic. We're in the powder. All right. Oh, well, we'll, uh, let me, let me take just a second to turn off the light. Going into these dark caves. And the glare is calibate. All right, well, Golden Vow. Dragon Ball Blessing. I'm going to come in here, buff to the nines, you scumbags. You will stand not a chance. Not like you did anyway. 
You don't stand a damn chance. Check me out. Ooh, crazy bolt. That's a decent pile of damage. Oh, because it's fire damage. It's fire damage, so it affects the flowers quite a bit. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there was a hapless victim over there. Did not even realize it. Don't even care, brother. Don't even care that you poisoned me. I am full of disdain for each and every one of the occupants of this dumbass cave. Ooh, baby. I don't disdain their loot, though. What you got? Perfumer bottle? I need to get into using those perfumer bottles. I'm still using this silly standard pots. Not even the fat jars, just pots. Bruh, you got flame, flame cleanse me? And you're not using it? What are you, some kind of buffoon? Oh, hello! <laughs> it's my favorite! Why are you here? Why do you exist? Let me just snipe the crap out of you with my new and exciting Frenzy Burst. That's a decent chunk of damage here. Anyway, what I can do... I do have a freaking bow on it. It's pretty uh, damn upgraded. Just spam it until you're dead. I do have a Nash of War I never use. Oh. Oh! That's pretty cool. You realize that you could do that with a bow? Sh why not? This is a lot faster. I am using up arrows like an idiot when I could have easily simply used my fupu. But, no big deal. They're easily craftable. Arterial leaf. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty big, huh? That's what she said. She was pretty shocked. A lot of people dying. <laughs> from just dropping there. Probably a bad idea. Let me just take a good look from a different angle before I drop there like a moron. Yeah, a lot of people just dropping down there being like, Oh, wait a minute. This is just death. <laughs> because then they fail to jump over there. That would be my assumption. Oh, hello. Exciting. Plant! Stop it. Miranda Powder. Six Miranda powders. All right. Well, uh, I have arrived at a place where we can do more stuff. Let's do the blessings without the golden bow because the golden bow is pretty damn expensive. Can't even do that one. All right. Ready for battle, baby. I should have definitely done the flask of wonder physique. It's it's just a tree and then a weirdo. It's one of these weirdos. An omen killer. I can destroy these guys in our sleep. It was perhaps one of the most humiliating defeats. Way back in the Albinaric, uh, he actually does decent damage, so let's not disrespect him. He is already dead. <laughs> and then the Miranda, the blighted blue. Okay, Miranda, let's just put you out of your misery, okay? It's time to reap this harvest. Great Almond Killer Cleaver. Sounds exciting. Uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go there. There was some weird ass uh, caves on the other side. It is possible I've already been to that other side through the Altus Tunnel, maybe? Because I do remember, there was, remember, was that cave and we killed the damn thing. It did, really does have that same structure with the tree going up. So yeah, we've been there already. Well, fascinating. If not uh, slightly disappointing. This was uh, not the most challenging of fights. Check out that cleaver though. Should be with the axes and all that nonsense, right? Somewhere around here. There you go, the cleavers. 
Because it's blood loss buildup? Of course it does. The blade of this huge, loathsome cleaver comprises a row of amputated omen horns. Weapons of slaughter wielded by omen killers. The hideous horns cause, cause blood loss, adding vibrant colors to the ongoing mayhem. Fun. Fun times for me, not so much for my victims. Well, can I please now enter freaking lane though? Or well, at the very least approach it a little bit further. We already were here. We have not approached it from this top angle, so let's do that. Go uh, through the area that had the siege engines. I will definitely dodge each and every shot. Don't you worry about me one bit. There will be no difficulty whatsoever in weaving my way on horseback against these silly siege engineers that try to aim at me. I'm too swift. I cannot be stopped. Look at that giant rock. They missed by a freaking mile. Pathetic. Let's use trees for cover. I'm sure that'll work. I see a tower over there. Hey! <laughs> My plan has been foiled. And here I thought it was foolproof. Is this tower accessible from the bottom here, or do I need to climb? I need to climb. Don't rock me. Oh, here comes another rock. Oh! <laughs> Yo! The horse did not like that. The horse was not pleased with the way I've been throwing it straight into catapult fire. You scumbags. They're all gonna die. I know I already killed you. But retribution shall be swift and fatal. There's no escape from butthole. Ah! Wow, you're lucky. You somehow avoided the incredible attack that I had just for you. But don't worry, I have plenty more. Die! You moronic defenders. You think you can turn me away? I am the scourge that shall... Burn this damn city to the ground. See, they're they're all undead, weirdo, decrepit monsters. These are not men. What is going on? In the lands between. So just full of rot and disgust. Like at, at the highest level. It's like, what is the nature of this place? It just makes you wonder if it's just this weird spirit land. At least that uh, it's not even physical. Lightning slash. This is exciting. Stop it. Something to put on my graven scythe, maybe. I can say I've played with Ashes of War very much. There's a tower I like to explore. Another fella on horseback it needs to be brought down low. Stop it. Don't reach for your weapons. There's no resistance. Whoa. Absolutely destroyed. You poor bastards. You have no chance against the incredible butthole desperado. Stop throwing things at me. I'm going to climb this damn tower and I'm going to demolish it. Highway Lookout Tower. Even it has a freaking name. Must be important, right? Alrighty. Hello. I spy with my murderous eye more victims. Thought for sure my hat would clip through the ladder, but no. The hat fits nicely. Ah, yes. Mr. Fireman over here. Being ready. Oh, I am, I am clipping for people, though. He was just so ready to defend his domain. Little did he knew. He knew that doom itself was creeping up upon them. It better be the most incredible trap chest up here that sends me to the butthole of doom. A great bow. And then great arrows. How exciting. I am so delighted to have found this great bow and great arrows. Ooh. What's going on? 
What was that? What was that? I don't know, but I'm leaving. I think it's just the thunder. The thunder overhead. Maybe it's just the catapults. Here, let me charge up this attack and uh, miss uh, terribly. Anyway, these people are idiots. They're not worth my dumbass time. We're just going to finally go closer to Landel. Will I enter Landel at last? I mean, I've already entered Landel through the damn shortcut that I refused to partake to, you know, take advantage of. I want to do it legit. I want to go to the actual entrance and knock, present myself, go into the foyer, maybe enjoy some light conversation with the nobles there, and then slaughter them all. Like a proper invader. Lost Grace Discovered. Might as well uh, rest right here. Talk to Melina. What do you have to say, Melina, you stranger? Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? Absolutely. You know, you seem to have a bit of a hard on for Marika. I, I hate to break America's it to you, but I am not me, on that boat. Gods, I am much more on the boat of depose them house. all burn their the kingdom to ashes fire. and then r reign over this Lord. moldering ruin be it a god but should ye fail to become aught at all ye will be forsaken ye? amounting only to sacrifices i understood none of that let's see uh, ashes of war heavy grave scythe I do have a heavy grave scythe. Maybe I should make it into a holy thing and then not have to worry about boosting anything in it. Using all the damn buffs that are, that are kind of annoying. Golden Slam, Golden Vow, Sacred Order, Sacred Blade. Then I just pick up something else. Lightning Ram. This is lightning. It's not holy. Oh, but I guess it just doesn't work with the, with the scythe. That's too bad. Meh. I did like the sacred blade thingy. It does do a lot of damage. Eh, let's just leave it the way that it is because this does a ton of damage and then you buff it and it's even more damage. And uh, I like it. I like it that way. Hey, have you seen my butt attack? Check it out. You, you missed it. You went away. Melina, you're not really much of a team player. You show up whenever I'm having some downtime. You leave me to my own devices when I'm having troubles. You only show up when it's safe. Ooh, what's that staircase? Damn it, stop sending me other places. Actually, no, this does not send me to other places. That's probably the way forward. They already traverse this camp. I haven't been this far, right? Man, there's some uh, remains of battle. Some enormous bolts being thrown from the battlements. I think that's just the way I'm supposed to go. The obsidian staircase over here. Very interesting. The way to arrange the place. Is this the path? Is it what's going on? Just leads to a, a graveyard of the giants. I am expecting to see the spirits of my of 20 enemies spring to life or I guess spring to undead to undeath and so it happened really not interesting finding these guys that we have fought them 20 billion times before please please stop I, ju I just want the loot I don't really care please Tarn just stop running like a wild animal there you go incredible wild string uh, grease how amazing. I'll tie around my cock and sing a freaking lullaby. What the hell do you want me to do with it? All this dumbass undead spring into life. Hey, are you a merchant? We love merchants. What's up, buddy? Let me use this side of grace. We love merchants, and I have uh, plenty of currency to spend. Wonder what this fellow will want me to buy. 
Okay, no melee net to talk. What's going on? Tell me your story. Well, yeah, 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 you're all really surprised that you can do business. Runarchs, I won them all. I will, of course, buy Perfumer's Bottle. Hey, it's the weirdo's outfit. And also, this looks like Raya's outfit. The girl, the, the lizard girl. Just buy it all. Buy it all. We want more outfits. Not impairing knowledge in brief. Below the capital. Sure, I'll, I'll learn about that. Golden Great Arrow. He sells infinite Golden Great Arrows. Anyway. I bought all the things that you had to, to use. Uh, I think that's here. Below the capital. Below the royal capital of Lanedale is a vast network of sewers. The well in the city below reaches deep into its tunnel. How exciting! We have found our sewer level! <laughs> there has to be a sewer level. It's, it's, a, it's a Souls game and it's an RPG in general. If there is no sewer level in your RPG, you're doing it wrong. There has to be a sewer level. And of course there is one underneath Landell. Suddenly I'm not that excited to go into that place anymore. But we're going to do it. It's going to be a grand old time. We'll love it. The dead rise at my passing, I care not. I am just going to ignore the crap out of them. Loot everything that I can find. And lay them to rest at a later day. They're so damn restless. What are you? I mean, obviously they are snails. But, uh... Does uh, Miyazaki know that snails are invertebrates? <laughs> don't have a freaking skeleton! I mean, obviously these snails are not earth snails, right? So, sure. Reanimated snake-like snails. I guess they are like snakes. Wing crystal tear. All right. What do I do? Why am I even fighting them? It's just a bunch of dumbass snail skeletons. Why am I embroiling myself with the stupidest fight of all time? Just move on with your life. How silly to get myself into snail battle. Oh. Oh. This is death, right? But maybe... to the menu i'm pretty sure if you fall from there you die let's see if we can cheat the system go back into the game <laughs> continue please put me at the top of the cliff before i felt like a moron i don't want to waste another rune arc i am addicted to the rune arcs god damn it this really does mean that it's safe to stand down here come on come on bacon bits you can find purchase. Oh, oh, find my way back up. Hell yeah. What an incredible horse. Absolutely amazing power. Oh no, oh. The undead are they're going to get me. Oh no. Oh. Give me that loot. Golden Room 4. What would I do without it? Did I see the top of this place? I would like to look at the map. Son of a bitch, don't send me to the. Abyss. Can I please look at the map? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we saw everything, right? We got to the top there. There's another earth tree right here. Definitely we're going to see what we can harvest from the earth tree. We already grabbed a crystal tier. Wonder if there's going to be more down there. What is this? Just more idiots? What the frick? <laughs> Startled the shit out of me, man. All right, not interested in that just yet. There is a nerd tree right here. Will we find another vagina tree? Will we find some kind of weird tree slayers? It's like the closer we get to the actual tree, the weirder the avatars next to the trees get. I'm being molested by some weirdo. Okay, fellas, let me uh, do battle. Fully equipped. I'm about to get bolted out of existence, maybe. 
I don't know what kind of weird congregation of morons is this, but I am ready to... Butt right into it! Woohoo! Burst! Oh, the punch! Holy crap! <laughs> oh, death blight. That's respectable. So let's use a bunch of weirdos with death blight powers. They worship some kind of nasty ass entity. And they're just guarding uh, this thing. Twiggy crack tear, crimson tear, crystal tear. I really need to go to a side of grace and redo my flask. I don't think I've checked out any new tears in a long time. I am equipped with incredible stuff that I've been ignoring horrendously. Okay, let's find out what's up here. Which I don't anticipate is going to be anything. Yeah, it's just the end of the map. But often there will be uh, like a stray nonsense. A lot of people saying things. No ladder ahead, thanks. Thanks a lot. Interesting. Alright, can we maybe teleport out of here? Nah, let's just run. Run over there and then have a confrontation with the dumbass Archer Colossus guy. That just, uh, against all rational thought, is picking a fight with Bottle. How has Ward not traveled? Between these absolute buffoons that tells them, hey, look at, you know, that Tarnish that rides on a spectral steed and wields two badass scythes. Uh, just let her pass. Let her do whatever she wants because she will tear you a new asshole. And yeah, you might kill her once, but that just pisses her off. And she'll come back more and more pissed off until you're just a pile of flesh on the floor. Kinda of salty that this guy has freaking shin braces. I don't know why I'm doing battle with this guy when I should be <laughs> taking out the archers first. Alright, fella. You should have had your shin bracers equipped. Because this is not good equipment for battle. Oh no, he's stomping. Too powerful. Too powerful. He cannot withstand. The assault on my dual scythe. Nice, he actually drops smithing stones. Wonder if that's a guaranteed drop and that only happens once or just got lucky with that. Incredible super bow. Yet another idiot without shin braces. You should have learned from your buddy. He goes to battle well equipped. Alright, now that the idiots, the support has been dismantled, I can go back to the central moron. What's the deal with the, the, the shadow? Why is the shadow chasing me? Am I bringing about this shadow? Am I the shadow being cast upon the lands between? Am I perhaps this scourge that shall plunge this world into the ultimate ruin? I hope so. Ow. I don't know why I hope to accomplish with that uh, wind-up attack. But how about I show you my butt? That's a big-ass wind-up that he's got. And here comes the butt! That was not very impressive, was it? Let's get to it already. <laughs> he was not a fan. Oh, he has fire! Wow! Okay, I am clowning on this guy. Like he is no threat. Come on. Take and see. This guy is... Bigger than your mama. Really, I'm being quite foolish. Holy crap. You continue attacking your ankles. My incredible ankle attacks cannot be stopped. Just die already. I look forward to ignoring your existence from this point forward. Because you know I'll never be killing you ever again. I'll just run past you like I should have done the first time. But, you know, you find a new enemy. It's exciting. It was a configuration of three idiots trying to stop me. It needed to be addressed somehow. Okay, where am I? Seems like I am actually getting to the point. Remember there was that 
side entrance there was a fog wall. We have found it. <laughs> Surely there is a, a side of grazing around here. This looks like just a, a tree sentinel type of dude. Ooh, there is a... Kill the birds. Oh, I see. Oh. Give me a moment. I heard noises downstairs. I was like, a burglar has come. It is my time to shine and destroy this intruder. But no, it was just my wife. So I took the basil bat and just beat her up real good because she didn't warn me that she was coming home. And, you know, I can't possibly abide that kind of disrespect. Definitely no way down here. So I guess we're going to try and do battle. It's just a tree sentinel. Right? How bad can it be? <laughs> Let me just uh, super buff. Give myself every edge possible. Because, you know, the further I go, the more beefy my enemies seem to turn. And I am ready to not be destroyed. You know what? You know what? This is our chance. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Here's the Mimic Terror Ashes. That is a lot of health cost but definitely supports my and look it is a my buddy it is me it is butthole all right butthole let's go double team this dumbass Dratonic draconic tree sentinel more like corpse like tree sentinel because this guy is getting wrecked right now <laughs> holy crap well I am sure he had very cool attacks. <laughs> I'm sure he had an amazing arsenal with his dragon great claw. And we would have been utterly trounced by his martial prowess. But Battle is too freaking deadly. She came up here and absolutely obliterated that fool. And now there's free reign to go into Lanedale at last. It has been long ass time coming a lot of people talking around here what you got joy therefore praise the message all right it's just people celebrating getting past that extremely tough enemy i can relate he looked very badass very cool very evil and he got absolutely destroyed by butthole's incredible holy might i am the holy reaper you cannot stop this rolling ball of death from plundering the depths of your vaginas and I'm just going to absolutely obliterate you no matter what you are. I don't care, I don't care that you ride a horse and you wield a weapon that is bigger than my entire body. I do not give a crap, I'm going to just absolutely trounce you and hopefully that will be a trend that continues as we face all the dangers. We already grabbed this, I remember-ish. Man, been looking forward to this for so long. Coming into the freaking capital. Are you person to talk to? No, I am looking on, locking onto you. Die! Hey, are you a person to talk to? No, I'm locking onto you. Die! Foolish, foolish buffoons. These damn workers want to get paid while doing no work. They disgust me. That is another side of grace that I already grabbed. Is that a person? Is that freaking Bach? Hey, it's my little servant buddy. Go fetch me a drink. Oh, hello, Melina. Now my you're getting really interested in me. For bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Oh. Here, I can govern my own movement. Oh. And thus, the accord is fulfilled. Here I thought. I shall depart. To uh, excuse the me. Purpose I was given. You are Help. supposed to be working with me. I shall leave Torrent. And the power to turn runes into strength. Here. She was using you. me all along. I wish you luck. I thought that we were a team. I thought ambition. you were going to you go all the way down with me. And, and you would just fight alongside me. But no. You, will become you were Lord. using me all along. May you take the throne. Don't teach me to simp. She's gone now. She's gone. Leaves me all alone with this 
freaking half man weirdo. I can't possibly simp for this dude. The seamster at your service, master. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Ooh. Do you see it? Master, did you see it? The, the earth tree. Eh, it's not that impressive. I don't really have the words for this. Okay, okay, just calm I'm down. So I see that you have creamed your pants so already. Dazzled. Please compose I yourself. Something stir in my breast. The earth in my breast. <laughs> your loins, I mean, more master. like. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. I'm not really into you. Master, your wardrobe includes the garb of the old demigods. And, Indeed. And I'm afraid I can... Uh, you you, you already told me this already. Oh, but I have a gold sewing needle. Is that a gift for my undeserving self? Thank you kindly. I don't remember where I grabbed it, but you can have it. It's just this thing in my pocket. I don't give a crap. Amazing. I've never seen a golden needle. It's just a, a, a bobble that I don't care about. You don't need to cream your pants about it. What, what is with your excitement? This is for me. You should all... You're a freaking Elden Ring NPC. You still be cynic and crestfallen. Have faith in me, Master. I'll polish my craft enough that I deserve this golden gift. I'll be the golden seamstress. Bruh. Just now calm down. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Have you ever thought so? Surely she'll be happy. What are you talking about? Just out there my damn garments and shut the fuck up. See <laughs> what you got. I don't think any of these. Oh, now Radans can be altered. What does this do? Oh, it takes out the weird cape thing. You know, taking out capes is just it's a sin from... For all these uh, pieces of clothing. It's just a sin. To be taking off the capes of this beautiful... This beautiful attire. Well, I am not terribly impressed with your service. Alright, let's exhaust what you have to say. Master, may I ask you something? Would you mind if I called you Lord? Why not at all? I, I mean, Master has a nicer ring to it, honestly. Seek the throne of the Elden Lord. Well... I know that you will be the one, and you'd make just the manner of kind hearted. <laughs> you poor delusional you. fool. So please, if you would, no. allow me to call you Lord. No. Don't call me that. No. And why would you? Because I'm going to burn it all down. Step in my bones. I didn't mean it. Just call me master, for I am your master. Do you think that Mum would be pleased if she knew that I'm as good as any royal so seamstress? The demi humans have oh, mothers. We have established that, you right? Need to learn how to sew from scratch. Where are all the children? Where are all the damn children in the lands between? Master, have you might be born again. What are you talking about? I'm not going to give you a freaking look. You are an ugly, disgusting. Desist reden oh. lice infested me? little beast. Reborn. And I will keep you that way. Oh, look at me. When you're this ugly, well, being reborn, it would hardly make a difference, I'm afraid. No, I will not. <laughs> look, just stay. Just oh, uh, please. Don't overstep your bounds. Know your place. You're here to make cuts to my clothes. Stop talking to me. Little piece of garbage. Anyway, let's uh, go into Lanedale. On the next episode, I'm having a great old time. And I will continue berating all my servants. Wherever I go.